Sometimes it takes just a few simple sounds to give you the cold sweats. You need to be as sharp as a knife, a handyman with a great ear, and be a problem solver. Julien is a sound effects specialist. Can we do a quick test? A real sonic illusionist. When you're ready, Juju, we're rolling. Without us knowing, he's the man who plays with our senses, who heightens our emotions and boosts the performance of our on-screen idols. When Nicole Kidman walks, it's me. When it's Gérard Depardieu in some movies, it's me. I do everything in their place. Yeah, 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 that's good. He can do 12-hour stints in the studio to perfect the sound effects for the next blockbuster, and directors often fight over him. Ah, here they are. Just as they did with his father. Oh, with Subway, do you remember? The roller skates with that metal suitcase. Sound effects clearly run in the family. When I see his name in the credits, I always clap. But this is a film star who rarely comes out from the shadows. To add sound effects to films, Julien has to create noises using objects he finds around him every day. Ah, that's good, that. Hello, how much are your footballs? Tools that he finds on the street or at the market that he can use in a different way to the one they were intended for. You know the Venetian blinds you have at home? Well, when I don't have any, or if they don't make enough noise, I take this and I fold it in half. It's a chance to show off his skills. Ah, and that makes a Venetian blind sound. That's clever. And Julien always visits his greengrocer. Oh, I found my happiness. Do you have a cabbage? A big cabbage. To add some drama to an action film, nothing beats a vitamin intake of fruits and vegetables. This cabbage is for the splitting sound of an actor's head. When he gets hit really hard with a shovel, this is the sound of his skull cracking. Chabrol, Almodovar or Lars von Trier, these filmmakers have all been impressed by Julien's flawless ears and by his unstoppable inventiveness. I listen to everything. I try to tune myself in to what I'm hearing on the street. I'm really attentive. There's no school for this job, and there never will be. I've tried to learn all the tricks, and when I haven't got the right know-how, I learn another skill. It's like the sound of eggs frying. We're big cheaters. These secrets were all picked up from his father, André Naudin, who also gave his son his treasure trove of objects, like this tap used in Jacques Tati's film, Mon Oncle. His dad also helped Julien get his first paycheck. One day, he was working on Flipper, the dolphin film, and I was making the sound effects for the dolphin's tail in the sink, and it struck me that this was a creative and a manual job at the same time. And because I'm no academic, it suited me. Yes, Dad, are you OK? I'm almost there. Hello. Hello. For 20 years, father and son created sound effects side by side. One of their greatest achievements is their work on one French classic film. Oh, I remember that. You did it with a blowtorch. The cult film The Cabbage Soup with Louis de Funès. Ah, that's it there. Hearing the sound of his own footsteps amazed France's king of comedy. He acted in slippers, but you were wearing clogs. For insurance reasons, he wasn't allowed to wear boots because he had a heart condition, so he made the sound effect in clogs. He said to me, it can't be true, how did you do it? And I said, it's my job. And he said it was magic. Come on. It's this magic that Julien is keen to keep on conjuring up. I come to his attic for a good rummage if I need something specific for a film. A bowler hat is a different sound to a peak cap. If I need one, I know I'll find one here. Here we go. This family know-how just can't be copied. He can do everything and anything. 
He has this old school set of skills where you have to be able to do everything, and that's great. Julien has worked on almost 1,000 films and TV movies in total, but he's not ready to give up just yet. I thought that when I turned 40 or 50, I'd stop working. But at the end of the day, I don't stop. Retirement is not for me right now. My dad worked until he was 75 or 77 years old. I'll take that step when it makes me happy.